Hi, I'm John, one of the senior demonstration pilots here at Textron Aviation. I want to take just a few minutes of your time to talk about the Cessna Grand Caravan EX. Now many of you know that the caravans have been manufactured for decades. We've produced thousands of them, which should be a testament to its reliability, versatility, and simplicity. Join me. The Cessna Grand Caravan EX is powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT6-140 engine. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. It provides us 867 shaft horsepower, which gives us great performance in cruise and on those shorter runways. If we look inside, from a pilot's perspective, pre-flight is important. The Grand Caravan EX has an oil level sight gauge located right on the side of the engine for simple oil level checking. Additionally, you'll see the inertial separator located right here on the side. This is a great feature for us when we operate on those unimproved strips to keep FOD out of the engine. Everything else, whether it comes to the standby alternator, air conditioning compressor, and other accessories are all visible from right here. With the 867 shaft horsepower available from the engine, we've got to turn that into thrust somehow. We do that with the Macaulay Black Mac four-bladed aluminum propeller. Some of the features are full reversing, full feathering, and a great ground clearance of over 16 inches. Why is that important, you may ask? Well, when it comes to full reverse, that allows us to reduce our already short ground roll when it comes to landings. Additionally, when we operate on those unimproved strips, having that additional ground clearance keeps things out of the engine. Let's talk about landing gear for just a moment. It's a fixed gear, which again goes back to the simplicity of systems, and its shock absorption is done through its main design of tubular spring steel. On the front, however, we have a draggling spring located behind the main strut. This provides for fore and aft shock absorption as well. So when we do operate on those rough strips, we have some additional shock absorption. As we move along the right side of the airplane, let's take a look at the single stack exhaust. Now I find that to be a benefit simply for the fact that, well, visibility. As you look out the beautiful wide windows of the caravan, there's no distortion from exhaust heat. As pilots, we do our best to avoid the weather. Two of those things that we have available here on the Grand Caravan EX are the optional TKS system, as well as the GWX-75 weather radar, which you see located right here in the pod on the right-hand wing. The TKS system, you'll notice, provides for anti-icing system fluid to seep along the leading edge, keeping that ice off. With a full TKS tank in normal mode, we have over three hours of endurance. Part of what gives the Grand Caravan EX such great short field performance is its large 52-foot wingspan. And the cool thing about it is the majority of the trailing edge is all flap. That allows us to get into those shorter strips and have those shorter landing and takeoff distances. As we continue over towards the back, this is what's nice about loading passengers. It's very simple to operate with a built-in stair for the lower part of the door, along with these cable assist handles. Additionally, for me as the pilot, Oftentimes, I'll have people closing the doors in the back after people are loaded. If the airplane's door isn't secured properly, I'll know with a cast alert up in the cockpit. One small but important feature on the Grand Caravan EX is the rudder gust lock. The caravan has a large rudder and we want to keep it from flapping around in the wind when we're not around. What's even more important is when we're getting ready to leave to make sure we release that rudder gust lock. One of the ways in which we could do that is by releasing the lever. However, oftentimes we get in a rush and may forget as we're loading passengers and trying to get ready to go. So another method in which we can do this is by simply a pull back on the yoke and we're good to go. Well, let's talk about cargo. When it comes to hauling things, this is where the Grand Caravan EX really shines. Located on the left-hand side of the airplane is a 49 by 50 inch cargo door. It operates very much the same way as the air stair door on the other side of the airplane. This allows for a standard size pallet, motorcycles, small snow machines, or anything else that you can fit in the door. Well, what doesn't fit in the door should be able to fit in the cargo pod. 
The cargo pod is one of the great features about the Grand Caravan EX. It is optional, but it's a popular option. It has four separate compartments capable of holding over a thousand pounds of cargo, each of them having their own door separated by an aluminum bulkhead. The cargo pod is made of Kevlar fiberglass combination, so it adds very little weight. Well, now that we've completed our walk around, it's time to get in and go. The Cessna Grand Caravan has a pretty easy entry for us pilots. With a simple fold down ladder, we have secure steps to enter the cockpit. Well, as a demonstration pilot here at Textron Aviation, I often get asked, what's your favorite airplane to fly? It always comes back to the Cessna Grand Caravan EX. After today's walk around and some of the points that I showed you, you can see why. It's versatility and reliability. Thanks for joining me.